the topic of this video is understanding logarithms. Logarithms. EGOBs, which were referenced in a previous video, are actually called logarithms. So, in place of the acronym EGOB, we're going to write the word log instead. So, when you see log, just think exponent goes on base. A log is a missing exponent. Let's look at some examples. Instead of EGOB 525, we can write log base 5 of 25. And therefore, log base 5 of 25 is the same as the number 2. Instead of EGOB 3 1 9th, we can write log base 3 of 1 9th. And log base 3 of 1 9th is the same as the number negative 2. A logarithm is a missing exponent. I'll say that again. It's very important. A logarithm is a missing exponent. The word log works with the two numbers inside to represent a single value. To remember this, we can enclose these three together in a brick, which is this red shape that I have drawn here. Notice that it contains the word log and two values. The brick has a small opening in the upper right corner. Nothing outside the brick can affect anything inside the brick except through that small opening. We will learn more about this in a future video. How do we pronounce logarithms? Well, when you see the word log, you're just going to say log. That's pretty easy. The first number, the one that is lower, is the base. So before that number, you say the word base. And the second number, which is on the same line as the word log, in other words, the five is lower, but the log and the second number are at the same height. The second number is the thing you're taking the log of. So therefore, we say the word of before the second number. Say base before the first number, say of before the second number. So this would be pronounced log base 5 of 25. The second one would be pronounced log base 3 of 1 9th. 